All right, more than 100 children died last year while under the watch of the Department of Children and Family Services. Those shocking numbers just released in a new report by the Illinois Inspector General. ABC 7's Alexis McAdams talked to the Cook County Public Guardian about these alarming numbers. Alexis? Rob, 123 kids died last year in the state of Illinois despite having contact with DCFS. The Public Guardian I talked today tells me DCFS is currently performing at their worst. Pages and pages of case reports. This is 123 children. Outline a tragic pattern within the Department of Children and Family Services. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing all these reports of DCFS with dead children. According to the Illinois Inspector General's annual report, 123 kids died last year despite DCFS having contact with their families. 24 of those deaths were ruled as homicides. Red flag after red flag, injury after injury. In many of those cases listed, DCFS documented multiple signs of danger and abuse before the kids died. Cook County Public Guardian Charles Goldberg, who works to protect those kids, says DCFS failed. DCFS did not do anything and left the children there. One of those heartbreaking cases that made national headlines was the death of five-year-old A.J. Friend. Back in April, A.J. was killed. His small body dumped in a shallow grave in McHenry County. A.J.'s parents, who had a long history with DCFS, charged with his murder. This report has many, many AJ friends. Back in March, two year old Jahir Gibbons was beaten to death by his mom's boyfriend. The child died less than 48 hours after a DCFS worker said they were at his house for a welfare check. Jahir's dad suing the agency. I feel that they ignored the abuse. This new report says the issues plaguing the system have been around for years and still have not been fixed. We know what we need to do. We need consistent leadership, the will, and the resources. Now we reached out to the Department of Children and Family Services about this new report. They tell us in a statement they are overhauling the department and reversing long-standing problems in the child welfare system. That won't happen overnight, they say, but they say they made dramatic improvements and are deeply committed to getting this right. We also reached out to the governor's office, a statement released from them just moments ago telling us that the governor this year took swift action in his first budget to increase DCFS staff with 300 new frontline employees and brought in experts to overhaul all agency policies and initiate a new training program for all and new DCS DCFS employees. Stacy, back to you. All right, incredibly disturbing information there. Thank you very much, Alexis.